Hey everybody, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to hop on here real quick, uh, do a little quick update for you guys. I missed last Friday, so this will be hopefully live either today, Thursday, or tomorrow. I had a pretty good last week and a half. I, for the most part, stuck to the low-carb keto diet. I got some exercise in, I went jogging, I did go ice skating, which was a lot of fun. I went with my friend who is a professional hockey player, so obviously he was incredible and I was terrible. But I did feel like I got a pretty good workout in ice skating. It really it really hurts the ankles and or at least my ankles. And by the end of it I was I was sweaty. You know, so I felt like I got my heart rate up and I was having fun and working out and, and that's usually like the best the best kind of thing, right? When you can do something that you actually are having fun with and you're burning calories. So I am nearing the end of my time here in the Midwest, which is where I decided to spend the last four weeks with my friend. And I am about to get on an airplane to head to the West Coast. Super nervous. I I'm nervous about flying during the pandemic. I feel I feel this combination of I'm excited, but I'm also I feel really guilty. I feel like this is a selfish this is it's hard because I really want to see my family. I haven't seen them in a whole year. I really want to spend Christmas with my with my parents. And I weighed the risk. I talked with them about it. Of course, they're so wonderful that they were basically saying that if I don't feel comfortable with this, I don't have to go. But I want to go. Like, that's just the honest to God truth. I really, really can't imagine spending Christmas without my, without my parents, honestly. So what we decided to do was rent an Airbnb in California. So... I think that's a good idea because it's a little bit safer than doing the whole uh, hotel thing. The only thing that I'm worried about is traveling. Um, and let me know if you guys want. I, I don't know if I could film in the airport. It's been a it's been a long time since I've I've gone to the um, to the airport, but I I might try to you know film it and and let you guys know like you know what what is it actually like right now if you're curious. I. I'm hoping that they're taking a lot of precautions. I'm also secretly hoping that the middle seat will be open, but honestly, I don't know. With the vaccine coming out, maybe more people feel like they can travel, so we will see. I'm really excited once I get to California to go hiking. My mom and I do a lot of hiking together. That's kind of like how she and I have bonded over the over the years, so I'm really excited to, you know, get back out there on a real mountain. And I will definitely do my best to post update videos of that. Um, what else? I, finally, the last thing that I want to talk about is I am doing something with Zach with Life in the Fat Lane. And we are doing a vision board. We're still looking for a hashtag. So if you have ideas for a hashtag, I think the best one we have so far is hashtag envision 2021. But... Full disclosure, I have never done a vision board. I love the idea of a vision board. I've always envisioned a vision board, but I've never actually made a vision board. So part of what I'm doing when I go to California is I am going to work on my vision board and show you guys, like, do a little show and tell. Um, I'm sure Zach's is going to be way better than mine. Uh, I, I honestly don't even know what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I don't, it's hard for me to like, especially now with the pandemic and 2020, it's, it's really hard for me to dream about the future. I'm just not used to doing that. And, and that's not really characteristic of who I am because I do like to think about the future a lot and I like to plan, but this last year has just been such a... Like a, it just has 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 killed uh, all of my dreaming capabilities, which is so interesting. So I'm gonna try to push past that, and I want to try to dream really, really big. What do I want 2021 to look like? What are the things that I would like to manifest into the universe? That's what my vision board is going to be 
about. So if you would like to join in, please create a vision board, talk about it, post a video. It would just be really cool if we got a little community going around this whole vision board thing. Okay, I guess that's all I have to say. Uh, this is my last day here with my friend. I think we're going to go to an arcade that's super COVID friendly. Um, basically, they, they you play a game and they have a person come by and spritz it with hand sanitizer stuff. So it's pretty impressive. There's also a bowling alley where they will go and, and spray each individual bowling ball hole after you use it. I mean, I would hate to be that person, but I really appreciate the people who are putting in the effort to make sure that we are all feeling safe. Um, also, FYI, I did get a COVID test yesterday, and I plan on getting another one when I land in California. All right, I guess that's it. I hope that everybody is having a wonderful week, and you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate. I do hope that you get to celebrate it with your family, with your friends, and that you're not spending it alone. If you are spending it alone, I hope that you can virtually hang out with your friends and family. I will see you guys next time.